Welcome everyone to our presentation on web browsers. Together with my team, we'll dive into the fascinating world of web browsers. I am Jeremy and Azuro. And I am Amiel M. Bakinkito. And I am Kenneth M. Silahes. Browsing, browsing, so amazing. But sometimes, very frustrating. Shara, network simply slowly connecting. Papa, my websites are not loading. <laughs> A web browser is a software used to access information on the World Wide Web. Some popular examples are Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Edge. The first web browser is World Wide Web, later named Nexus, was created by Tim Berners-Lee in 1990. Netscape Navigator emerged as one of the earliest widely used browsers in the early 1990s. Microsoft Internet Explorer dominated the market during the late 1990s and early 2000s. Firefox, Safari, and Google Chrome revolutionized browsing with improved speed, security, and features in the 2000s. So right now we're going to talk about the basic parts of URL, web utilities, and plugins so basic parts of a URL the first part presents the protocols protocols are rules for exchanging data between computers the protocol HTTP or hypertext transfer protocol for web traffic and is the most widely used for internet protocol the domain is identified as www.google.com, also known as the web suffix. It typically identifies the type of organization, for example, .com indicates a commercial. And the others are .edu or educational. So next is web utilities. Web utilities are programs that make computing easier. These are specialized utility programs that make using the internet and web easier and safer. Some of these utilities are browser-related programs that either become part of your browser or are executed from your browser. Others are designed to protect children from dangerous and inappropriate ma website materials. File transfer utilities allow you to efficiently copy files to and from your computer across the internet. So lastly is plugins. Plugins are programs that are automatically started and operate as a part of your browser. Many websites require you to have one or more plugins to fully experience their content. Some widely used plugins are Acrobat Reader from Adobe, Flash Player from Adobe, QuickTime from Apple, and the Windows Media Player from Microsoft. Acrobat Reader from Adobe is for viewing and printing variety of standard forms and other documents saved in a special format called PDF. Flash Player from Adobe is for viewing videos, animation, and other medias. And a quick time from Apple is for playing audio and video files. And lastly, the Windows Media Player is from from Microsoft is for playing audio files and video files and many much more. And some of these utilities are included in many of today's browser and operating system. Others must be installed before they can be used by your browser. And the next topic I'm going to talk about is filters and file transfer utilities. Filters block out access sites. The internet is an interesting and multifaceted arena, but not all aspects of the internet are appropriate for all audiences. Parents, in particular, are concerned about children roaming unrestricted across the internet. Filter programs allow parents as well as organizations to block out specific sites and set time limits. Additionally, these programs can monitor use and generate reports detailing the total time spent on the internet and the time spent at specific websites. For a list of some best known filters, here are some examples. Cyber Patrol, Pearl Echo, Norton Online Family, 
Netlani, and Symantec Web Gateway. File Transfer Utilities Using File Transfer Utilities, you can copy files to your computer from specially configured servers. This is called downloading. You can also use File Transfer utility software to copy files from your computer to another computer to onto the internet. This is called uploading. Three popular types of file transfer are FTP, web-based, and BitTorrent. Our file transfer protocol and SFTP secure file transfer protocol allow you to efficiently copy files to and from your computer across the internet and frequently used for uploading changes to a website hosted by an internet service provider. FTP has been used for decades and still remains one of the most popular methods if file transfer. Web-based file transfer services make use of a web browser to upload and download files. This eliminates the need for any custom software to be installed. BitTorrent distributes file transfers across many different computers for more efficient downloads unlike other transfer technologies where file is copied from one computer onto the internet to another. A file might be located on dozens of individualized computers.